So the most shocking fact about a solitary pulmonary nodule, solitary pulmonary nodule, is that despite the immediate fear of lung cancer, the overwhelming majority of them are benign. When a solitary pulmonary nodule is dis discovered incidentally on a chest ray or CT computer tomography scan uh, in a person with no history of cancer, the, no history of cancer, the probability of it being malignant is highly depend on risk factors, not smoking, but overall it's surprisingly low. In low risk individuals, no, for example, young person and non smoker, the chance of malignancy less than 1%. Even high risk populations, more than 60% of nodules under one centimeter are benign. The most common causes are not cancer, but old healed infections like uh, granulomas from histoplasmosis or tuberculosis or benign tumors like hamartomas. So it uh, defies the patient, actually, and doctor anxiety. The discovery of a spot on the lung triggers an immediate and intense fear of lung cancer. No logic. But the statistically reality is far more reassuring. This massive gap between perceived risk and actual risk is a critical concept in a patient counseling, my beloveds. The challenge is proving it's benign. While its probability, while its probability benign, you cannot be 100% sure without uh, investigations. This creates the central di dilemma of managing of uh, this uh, solitary pul pulmonary nodule. How do you confirm it's harmless without subjecting a patient to unnecessary, risky and expensive procedures, like biopsies or surgeries? So watchful waiting is a powerful, powerful tool. This leads to the most common management and correct strategy, active surveillance or watchful waiting. By performing serial computer tomography scans over two years, a doctor can assess the nodule stability. A, so a nodule that doesn't grow, my beloveds, over two year period is by definition considered benign and no further follow up is needed. The power lies is in observing its behavior over time, just we need to wait. Ah, easy to say, of course.